This is Colin Cougar here, along with my friend Colleen Cougar. We're going to measure the speed of light using egg whites, a pie plate, and an ordinary microwave oven. My, obviously this is not my pa, my human friend Jim the physics instructor is going to help us out. First, we got to get the whites separated from the yolks. To get the whites, here's one white separated from the yolks, there's an egg, separated from the yolks and I leave the uh, yolks in the shell behind, don't need them, but we need to get the whites separated from the yolks. Here's how we do it. Crack open the egg, go ahead and you want it over here, you don't want the yolk in the pie pan, you want to kind of get all the egg white out of the egg. Kind of pour it like that. Some people do it like that. They get the yolk back and forth. Okay, leave the yolks here. Got some more white. We need to get enough egg white to cover the whole pie pan. We're going to cook it in the microwave. That's how we're going to measure the speed of light. So I'm just going to get a few more egg whites. Okay, I got enough egg whites to cover the bottom of the pan. You might see some flecks of yellow in there. One of the yolks actually broke in there. I just scooped it out a little bit. Uh, there's a couple flecks left. I think that'll be okay. We'll find out shortly. Now it's time for the microwave. Basically we put it in, we let it rip for about a minute and see what the egg whites look like. We don't want to move the pan. What If we let it let in for a minute, we do not, do not move the pan while uh, it's cooking. Okay, it's starting to cook. We need to let it cook some more. Uh, don't move the pan. Uh, check it out. Open the door. Check it out. But don't don't uh, wiggle the pan. If you wiggle the pan, you're going to have to start over. You know, I think we're getting there. You see those two brown spots? Those are hot spots in a microwave. I think if I measured the distance between the two, that will tell me half the wavelength of the radio waves that this microwave uses. Knowing the wavelength and knowing the frequency, I can find the speed of light. Now those two brown spots were nine centimeters apart. There's two other hot spots. You can see it right there. Be careful not to move the, uh, like I said before, be careful not to move the pie pan. Uh, right there to right there. That looks like a couple other hot spots. They're only seven centimeters apart. This uh, calculation is prone to error. So um, let's uh, let's run it some more. See if we can get some more measurements. Now those uh, two hot spots that were seven centimeters apart, the one right there and the one right there, they seem to be hanging in there. In fact, when uh, the microwave is running, you can't see it. The camera can't catch it very well, but they're bubbling up. They're getting hot right here, and they're getting hot right here, and you get a couple bubbles. This is still kind of cold over here, as you can tell. Um, these two brown spots might just be because they're close to the edge and they got a little hotter quicker. These are kind of in the middle. This, I, I'm, I'm most, I think those are the most reliable right there, those two hot spots. And um, microwaves or radio waves, they get hot here, they get cold out here. There should be another hot region over here. Well, you can see it on the edge, but that might just be because it's at the edge. So the glass gets a little hot. This glass gets a little hot. Okay, so for measuring the speed of light, I like this. I like the seven centimeters. They're seven centimeters apart. That's half a wavelength. That means a full wavelength is 14 centimeters. Next, we'll do the calculations. We get the frequency from the back of the microwave oven. And as you can see from the picture, it's 2450 megahertz. Also, when I pulled the egg whites out of the oven and did a very careful measurement, I found that the distance between hot spots was more like six centimeters rather than seven centimeters. So now we'll go to the calculations. From our microwave, we got that half the wavelength was six centimeters. So if we multiply both sides of this equation by two, we get the full wavelength 
equals 12 centimeters, which equals 0.12 meters. The frequency from the back of our microwave oven was 2.45 times 10 to the ninth. Inverse seconds, 10 to the ninth hertz, or inverse seconds. The formula for the speed of light, or the speed of any wave, is wavelength times the frequency. So let's get our handy dandy calculator out. And we get a speed of light of 2.94 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. That's pretty good. The accepted value is 3. To three significant figures, it's 3 anyway. Times 10 to the eighth meters per second. We did pretty good with our microwave.